What's up, y'all? We're gonna go back to another video. It's been a couple of weeks, but I'm back and I have new hair. Check it, check it. It's so cute. So curly. All the way curled. I'm absolutely in love with this color. It's giving fall. But let's get on to why I'm making this video. Your girl's gonna go to the Nicki Minaj concert. Say what you want about my girl, but. I've been a fan down for as long as I can remember, and I'm going to this concert. Oh, well, <laughs> not explaining myself that I just put some sunscreen on because it's been all day since I had any on. Um, I'm just gonna pull my hair back a little bit. I need to do my make makeup. I really want to hop in the shower. But do I have time to hop in the shower? Not really. It's six thirty. The concert starts at nine. Um, but it's like tidy and be a opening, and I'm really not just like interested in them. <laughs> I do have lower level seats, so lower level seats, and I'm like seat four. So now I gotta squeeze through a lot of people, so I'm really not that pressed. Um, but it is forty five minutes away. I do have to drive 45 minutes to get there. So, yeah, I want to be out the door about 7.15. Like I said, it's 6.34. So, let's get a move on. Um, I did buy some new makeup products. And I'm going to use one of them right now to curve out my eyebrows. I'm going pink today. I'm going pink. And I'm so excited, y'all. I Like I said, I've loved Mickey Down since, like, 08. Um, literally since the beginning. And though I do not agree with a lot of the things she's done, baby, I'm not the one. I do not agree with that stuff. I'm not the kind of fan, stand, whatever. I am not the Barb that you will be arguing with with the stand pages on Twitter. It's not my gig um, because I just don't agree with a lot of stuff she's done. Um, but as an artist, that's my girl, okay? And I could not really miss out on her coming to my state because when would I even get another chance and I could not just be far away either like I think I need to make these eyebrows just a little bit more dramatic fill it in just a little bit try not to rush I really have to rush I want to get in the shower just to say I got in but I really don't need to get in the shower that really be a waste of water but yeah i haven't made another video in a couple weeks y'all just because like i literally have not done anything and i know i need to be like the goal is just to get out do stuff hang around y'all i'm really loving this concealer it's literally the perfect color it is morphe color tan 24 is a neutral um and i'm really liking this actually okay i'm liking this i'm liking this let me feel this one in I got two concealers and a blush when I went out today. Also, I just discovered that we no longer have a Sephora here. So, figuring that out was fun because as y'all know, I've been trying to re-up on my Sephora concealers. Um, but now, I just realized that would not be happening. So these two empties, because baby, they are empty. Like, this you can see the size i can't get these anymore unless i order them online which i need to memorize the color so i can't order them online um so i'm gonna put those to the side so i can really get through that because i do love those but morphe might be taking the spot because morphe is just as cheap and it's still good i also got an elf concealer um and if the elf one works out for me then which is even cheaper the elf one is only seven dollars yeah, yeah. The Morphe one was fourteen dollars. The Elf one is seven dollars. Um, so if they work out for me, then Sephora. Who? Because as long as we got Ulta, I'm pretty good. Good because everything else I get is at Ulta. Like, so yeah. Okay eyebrows done now i'm going to go in with a little bit of primer i meant to get this primer but i could not think of the name of it i really need some more though this is really good it's a smashbox photo finish 
it's really good, but it's really empty. I got a little bit. Focus this on my cheeks because that's when I have the most blemishes at. Next, y'all, I like to go in with a concealer on my whole face that matches my shade to hide the dark spots before I put on a foundation. So I will be going in with the e.l.f. Concealer Com Camo Hydrant. Um, it's a full coverage concealer, but obviously I'm still going to put foundation on. And this is the color... I'm not sure. Let me see. Rich chocolate. And this is what it looked like. Really big too. And they didn't have testers, so I really I opened this and tested it on my hand. And I'm just praying for the best. So this just about how much I want to put on. I'm gonna take my foundation brush. If I can find it, take my Pride and True Foundation Brush. I love this brush. It's a Milani brush, y'all. I love this brush. And just blend it in. Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all. It has a red undertone, which I need, because that's what I have. And it just makes my foundation go on even better. Yeah, it has a really red undertone. But I really love concealing under my foundation just because I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. Next, I will be using my Morphe foundation. I love this stuff. I love this stuff so much. And this is in the color um, Rich 31. I'm just going to pump a little on my hand. I usually pump on my face, but I want to make sure I can really like Look how it looks as I'm putting it on, but y'all, as it blends out, it is so pretty. So pretty. It has like that more, I think it's warm when it's yellow, warm undertone, which I do not have. But once I bronze and everything, it really just comes together. And I really, I have to make sure I get my forehead, as you can see, the whole forehead is out. I do not like having my edges out when I get braids. It's not my thing. Um, shout out to the girls that do it, but it's not me. I think I'm going to do a little eyeshadow. Um, now that I'm looking at it, yeah, I need something. I need eyeshadow. Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to use this Morphe palette. It is the 25A Copper Spice palette. Um, I've had this for literally like four years. This is my junior. This is my sophomore year of college. And I've been out of college for like two years. So we're going to take this brush here. Take this color, which I don't know what it is. And blend it out in the corner of my eye. I used to love doing um, eyeshadow, y'all. But I grew out of it really fast. I don't know why. I just love my base face routine, but I sure they never did me wrong. You see that? Yeah. I know how to do it, so why not do it? I'm not gonna do too much, like I said. I'm obviously wearing shades, but I would not have the shades on while I am mid concert because I want to be able to see my girl. So need an eyeshadow to combat these plain eyes, and then I'm also. Also, I bought this the last time I uh, bought makeup. I bought it last week. It's not good. The make me feel me. I don't like it. So that's why I want to go buy new ones. <laughs> Even though I just bought one. Um, I didn't record it, but I did do my makeup last week. Y'all knew it came out so good. So good. Okay, next I'm going to go in with um, a little sparkle. Sparkle. I just need the, fur the perfect brush. Okay. Then I'm gonna go. I, I want something pinkish. I'm gonna go on with this color right here and just pat it on my lid. That's it for the eyes. Like, not too much. 
I can do a lot, I just don't want to. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. Now, I don't know, oh. I'm gonna go in with this one, the one I just got from Morphe first. I'm gonna try the technique that I just did last week. Y'all, it came out so cute when I did last week. So I'm gonna try that technique again and show y'all. So start off with this. Um, don't want to put this in everywhere yet. Put it all in the highlighting areas. Down on the nose and right here on the forehead. Then I'm going to take my, I've been loving this brush, y'all, for concealer blend outs. It has been so good. Oh, this one, a little goes a long way with this concealer. Wow. <laughs> I might not have to double conceal. That a little goes a long way. But I want to be beat to the gods, so... Wow, a uh, little goes a long way with this concealer. I did not realize that. Okay, it's kind of blended out. It, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely have to come back through with my um, bronzer. But I also got a new blush. Like I said, I got the Hot Shot Blush Drops from Morphe. These are like $12. And I really like this color on my hand. So let's see. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to. Oh. That's really pretty. But like I said, y'all, I'm going to see Nikki Mother Freaking Minaj. So I need to be pink oh oh my gosh y'all that's i barely dabbed that okay morphe it's so cold and wet okay go back and get some more colors i love this it's the perfect pink for what i was looking for today too oh i kind of want to go <laughs> and put more on top of this but like oh wow just okay one thing i did last time i sprayed before powdering i love that so i'm gonna spray let that dry and then i'm gonna powder and it, it worked so well last time so let's try her again so i got my uh true complexion loose setting powder um, in the color, I don't know. I think they only have one color. Might have other ones. I'm not sure. And sit under my under eye. Okay. All right. That's enough. I don't, I'm not a baker. I'm not going to bake too long. And then I'm going to take my True Complexion um, contour palette. Use this as my contour. As y'all see, hit and pan. I love this, this shade. I'm going to go shop around for another one, though. See if I can find me something else that's as good as this, because this is great. Look at this side of face. This is, do you see the difference? Probably not. Looking a little. Not finished. <laughs> Wow, okay. Using new products when I literally have to go to a concert is really insane, but here we go. The concealer really just threw me off, all right? 
right chin is crazy. And I'm just going to take whatever left over and brush that away. Brush that. And for some reason, when I blush it away, it looks a little mm, dark. So, I go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I love this stuff. In a tan deep honey. I think this is the radiant one. You just put a little dot just to brighten this back up. Yeah, trust me. I did this last week and it came out so good. Okay, y'all. I had a little technical difficulties. It was trying to separate. And it did not do that last week, but I'm also using a Morphe, Morphe concealer. And it might be the Morphe concealer why I started separating like that. <sighs> Anyways, crisis already. I got it fixed. Kind of. It is getting super bright like I wanted it. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's, I think it's fixed. I think it looks good. It looks good here. It just need to sit, so I'm gonna spray it one more time. I have a long night of sweating ahead of me. I <coughs> love this, <coughs> love this. <coughs> I love this blush. I love this elf concealer. I am iffy. On that, what's the name concealer though? Cause I don't know what that was, child. Gave me a bit of a scare. But I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick to help my makeup set quicker. It's seven o'clock. I'm not gonna hop in the shower real quick to help my makeup set. I didn't think it was seven o'clock. Oh my God. I don't have time. But let me let this dry down. I cannot get in the shower. So that's dead. I need to go get dressed. So. Okay. It was good. Okay, it's eating. It's eating. It's eating. It's eating. It's eating. It's eating. It eats. Okay, I need to go get dressed. Let's go. this Nicki Minaj shirt from Etsy. I actually had a different skirt I was supposed to wear, but it was too small. I ordered the wrong size, so I had to send that back. But I got this little squirt from, this is terrible, terrible angle. I got this squirt from Shein, y'all. This one is really cute. Fits really nice. I had a pink one like this, and it ended up being too small because I clicked the wrong size, so I had to send that back tomorrow because i don't keep stuff that's not the right size baby i like my money back and like i said this is the t-shirt from etsy it doesn't really go with this but it was fine for the night and i did wear bubble gum i'm pretty sure these are called from lore bay of course um earrings are from claire's i'm pretty sure maybe she 
both chains i'm pretty sure are from shein i think one of these is from the beauty supply store and i wore some dunks don't ask me which ones because i don't know the face is actually still sitting which is crazy like i have my glasses on the whole time in the car but the face is actually still sitting so yeah 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 Okay, since I got y'all here, I'm going to take y'all through my nighttime routine because obviously I'm finna go straight to sleep, y'all. Um, well, I'm finna get in the shower as well. I just cannot go without taking a shower. And as y'all saw, I was rushing beforehand and couldn't take a shower before the concert. So, yeah. But first things first, therapy, hydrating, facial cleansing, love. This. Love it with my whole heart. I'm gonna always ruin a good white towel and wipe it off. Always, always gonna ruin a white towel and wipe off the makeup. And it's always gonna be okay because I have a washing machine here. <laughs> it's so easy to get out. Um, then I have these cotton pads, but that y'all are leaning on because I left my tripod in my car. I did not get like a lot of super cute pictures, but I think I want to know if that's gonna suffice. My face looks good. I got plenty of videos um, of my face, and of course of Nikki. She looked so good, y'all. Like, when she first came out, my eyes started watering. Like, y'all, I don't think y'all understand. I love that lady, bro. Literally. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a super stan by a long way. But, but, I have been listening to her. I defend her when I know for a fact people are lying on her. And I will spend my money on her. Like, I'm so sorry. But what's T is, I also do it for Meg. You can never say I picked a side. Because one thing about it, I'm not picking a side. Because they don't pay me to pick a side. I'm going to put my bonnet on because I do not want these crisp parts to get old fast. I need these to last in at least until mid-October. It's September 15th. So I need these to last to at least October 15th. Okay, I need these to last for a month. At least. Now they still look okay in the month. Baby. Yeah. So I just did that. I'm going to hop in the shower and I'll show y'all what I do after that. The second thing I used, by the way, was toner. Uh, it is facial toner, which, which has a rose petal. I love this. Um, so that's part two. And I'm going to get in the shower and then show y'all part three, four, five, six. Because it's a lot of parts. And I really need to get in the shower. I want to be in the bed by 2.15. Y'all ignore this shirt. I just threw it on just for the sake of this. But next thing I put on... After I got the shower, is I do the salicylic, 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 whatever, acid from the ordinary. I am running out of this. I do need to re-up, but I focus all these products on my cheeks because that's where I have the most hyperpigmentation. So I rub that in, and then I go in with the salicylic acid, um, uh, and nodule solution. I don't really know the difference in these, but one is for blemish prone, one of them is for acne prone. Um, so whatever, they work different. They see, they feel different. Again, on my cheek, just like that. You always see the difference in my skin. Like it's starting to bring itself back from washing it. Uh, now I use nine minutes side plus zinc. This has been a staple for many, many years with me. 
I have used plenty of bottles of this stuff. Love it. A few months ago, I was breaking out so, so bad, y'all. And I had a whole scarring right here, blemishes. And now it's gone. Like, I haven't consistent with this routine. And I'm telling y'all. Then I used the Facial Moisturizing Lotion by Cervi, the PM one. A couple of pumps of that. Yes, I'm bringing the hydration back from my skin. Because I'm a dry skin girly. And last, but not least, if I can get this Vaseline tube open, I use the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips, as y'all can see. Absolutely love this stuff. And I really focus on the, uh, the size of this because, baby, they ain't cracking. Because I'll be sleeping with my mouth wide open. So, that is my nighttime skincare routine. And look at my skin. Like, I'm telling y'all, it's amazing. Like, and ignore this. This pimp is literally just not growing. But look at the skin. Look at the skin. It's crazy. It's crazy how good my skin has been looking lately. I still got a bit of that. But I will come to y'all tomorrow whenever I wake up and let y'all know how the concert really went. I just cannot stay up any longer tonight. I am tired. Y'all see how dark my under eyes are right now? tired so i'm about to go to bed i really need to get my tripod out my car but here we are this light is blurring so bad well y'all i'm gonna get ready to go to the gym but i wanted to recap on nikki last night <laughs> i went to go see nikki minaj y'all i am still so like rattled because I really saw my girl, like, say what you want about Nicki Minaj, but I had the time of my life. Now, did it run a little late? Maybe, maybe. But all in all, it's really good. Skillabang or Skillabang or whoever he is that opened up first, absolutely trash. Absolutely trash. He did not entertain me at all. Um, and he kept dropping the F bomb, which was really disturbing. The way he was demanding people to party with him. Mind you, mostly everyone wasn't even in the stand yet. Like, that's the crazy part. So, like, he was annoying. And then Bia came out and fucking failed. <laughs> it's not funny, but she failed. She like, she lifted up and she, everybody said, woo. Like she failed, but she kept performing, she kept going. So that's good. But all her songs are trash. The way she raps on those beats don't sound good. And some of the beats she used, not meant for her. So I was not feeling Bia at all. And then the best set, besides obviously Nicki, was Tyga. Tiger said was really good. But I mean, it's Tiger. Tiger been in the game as long as Nikki has. But him to be opening up for Nikki when he's been in the game as long as Nikki is kind of crazy. But also, Monica opened or like mid show performed with Nikki on her first leg. And Monica's been in the game longer than Nikki. So it happens. But yeah, Tiger opening. Tiger, Tiger show was good. All his songs was literally 2012, 2013 songs. And his combined album with um, Chris Brown from like 2013, 2014, whenever that album dropped. Um, he saw like three songs off of there. Like all his songs are super old. He didn't seem to perform nothing new. I knew pretty much everything that he performed because I know Tiger music, which is so crazy to me. I just know Tiger music. I was like, oh, I don't want to see Tiger. I don't want to see Tiger whole time. I knew everything that Tiger performed. He got hits. Tiger got hits. Tiger got hits. But then my girl Nikki came out and her first two outfits, two sets were mainly off her new album. 
And the girlies wasn't rapping to it like they should have. I knew them. Because I know Nikki, okay? <laughs> Not to brag, but I knew every song that she performed. It was only one that I did not know at the end, and it really threw me with my baby. I know her, like, he did DJ Booth. Obviously, that's her DJ. If you don't know DJ Booth, obviously not a Nicky fan. Um, DJ Booth was, did a game like, can you finish her lyrics of a lot of songs that she has? He did like five, and I knew every single one of them. And then she came out and was like, let me see who really Barbie stands, da da da. It was like, do y'all know these? And I knew them all, like from mixtape Nikki. I know mixtape Nikki. Like, and the girls around me didn't know it. Like, that really disturbed me. So, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I just found the sock I've been missing from forever. That's really random. Sorry. I'm looking for a sports bra. I don't want to wear nothing too, like, revealing. I don't want my stomach out. These two colors, it gets fall. I'm going to wear this one. Um, Yeah, besides that, besides the girl is not knowing her music that was around me, I had the time of my life. Um, I was I was in there dancing like a white girl when she saw on Starships and Night Still Young, y'all. Those two had me in there dancing like a white girl. And she ended off with everybody. I said, <laughs> and the people was hyping me up. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now one thing i will say she had one little wardrobe malfunction but she wrapped through it it was doing roman revenge so i feel bad for the people <laughs> backstage baby that's why she cussed them out i saw that it was great okay the show was amazing i had fun i think this is going to be my gym fit i oh, don't know this top is actually so tight and uncomfortable but I hate this, but whatever. I think this is what I'm gonna go with. The shape is coming though. Look at the yeah. I really need my tripod. I'm gonna make my pre jam cocktail, so I'm just gonna do some balloon super greens. Um, some greens and superfoods. This is the watermelon flavor. Do oxy shred in a juicy watermelon flavor. Um, this is the stem kind, and I don't really do a full scoop, but just a little under a full scoop. I just need a little some, some, not a lot. Fill it up with water, straw. because I need a new book. Also, um, I just went and took pictures with two Alabama football players, the quarterback, Jalen Monroe, and then the star receiver right now, um, Ryan Williams. And they're so adorable. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. Um, so I will put pictures here and show them. I need to use the bathroom first. Okay, y'all, I've been home for quite some time now. I'm finally about to end this vlog. I wanted to get it posted today, but that wasn't happening. Um, the book I ended up getting from Barnes & Noble was uh, I Still See You. Still See You. I still See You Everywhere. It sounded really, really good. So, got this one. I think I'm going to love it. Um, and I also wanted to show y'all these it's called yeso's poppables is vanilla bean flavor is greek yogurt poppable so it's not ice cream it's greek yogurt which means it's protein it's good for you greek yogurt health, good health all that good stuff and these are so good this is like my fourth bag this week yeah i can eat this whole bag in a day which is kind of sad i'm trying not to yeah, I got that. That's going to be my little snack for the next couple of nights. 
because I can't have any actual sweets right now. So Greek yogurts have to do. I am watching Monday Night Football as well because it's Monday night and it's football. Um, but besides that, hope y'all enjoyed this little video. It's actually kind of long. Um, I did edit it already for the most part. Besides like two clips and it's like 38 minutes. So I'm trying to cut it down a little bit more. Hope y'all enjoyed this hair too. I'm going to do so much more. So many more looks with this hair. Hopefully I can keep it in long enough to do a couple of looks because I just love it so much. It's not different, but it's different. Like I've never like had this. Like I've had braids. I've had braids like this size. I've had colored braids, but the curly color is really like doing something on me. And the color just looks really good on me. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. And you made our way to the end. This is episode three, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Um. But you made it all the way to the end. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your 